I'm Kate Cook, textile designer, artist and illustrator with a whole load of experience in the design world, bursting to get out and inspire someone like you. I live on the south coast of England with my husband, daughter and two dogs. I'm lucky enough to have a studio at home where I spend a lot of time painting, making patterns, drinking tea and dreaming up new designs. I love pattern. In fact, I'm obsessed with it and gouache is the perfect medium to create patterns with. So, what can I do for you? Well, I've painted with gouache for the best part of 30 years and I'd like to get you painting with it too. Some people use gouache like watercolour, but I think it works best in a thicker, flatter way and you can paint colour on top of colour. So stick with me and let's have some adventures in gouache. I've got my objects laid out ready and I've mixed up my paint and I've got a selection of brushes that I'm going to use and I shall sharpen my pencil and I've got my eraser to hand so now I'm going to lightly draw out the objects but not in any great detail I'm concentrating on getting the overall shape right of the different objects. Once I'm happy with my drawing, um, as you can see it's, it's quite a basic drawing, I'm going to start painting and I'll use my favourite all-purpose brush, the pine cone and some of the stones and now I'm doing the shell. As you can see it's just kind of got those ridgy sort of lines around it so I'm going to use them as a as a guide same with the with the other shell um, it's got some lovely lines in it so I, I want to use those so now i'm using the pale green i'm just going to paint in the, the pea pod i think i'll paint the whole thing in that pale green and the nasturtium leaf i'm going to do the same actually i'm going to paint that all in so i'll put pattern over the top of that and so i'm going to do the stem and I'm going to use the pale grey now so I'm going to do the stone and work into the second shell again so now I'm using the pale grey to paint the feather out I'm just going to paint it all in the pale grey now I'm going to use a sort of slightly larger flat edged brush and um, I'm going to use it to make the marks in the shell quite like painting over the top of the sand quite like that look actually now a smaller flat edged brush just to do the top of the shell and uh, paint in a bit of that stone as well put a few more marks uh, now I'm going to use the pale pink. You might notice that I've changed the pink slightly. I've made it a bit pale. I decided that the stronger pink was too much on the same level as the orange that I want to use. I'm just using the pink in the shell because it's quite a lot of pink in that shell and putting a few dots in. I quite like that sort of detail in the shell. Um, obviously if you refer back to the original shell it doesn't really have dots like that but I don't really care. I'm also going to use it um, as a sort of uh, line work in the other shell, like painting over the top of things. You can see, I mean, there's lots of bridges and lines, and so I'm just doing my own interpretation of it. Now I'm going to put some detail into the feather. We we'll see there are lots and lots of lines in the feather, but I'm just doing a few to give the idea and a few lines into the nasturtium leaf as well and I put a few dots into one of the stones and I liked that kind of spirally pattern that's in that stone so I'm going to incorporate that onto the green the darker green now just done the leaves and I'm gonna just do a nice line down the bee pod like that might go back over it and then the smaller flat edge brush still in the nasturtium now I've got the orange 
and I'm just going to work into the pine cone and into the shell quite like using that flat edge brush again and because um, it makes quite nice ridge marks on the shell and in stone and I've put a few um, pale green uh, dots in the, the green leaves and now I'm going over the pea pod to um, give it a bit more interest. So you, I quite often go back to the original base colour and paint that over the top of any of the darker colours I've used. So this is the dark grey now that I'm using for the stem and I'm using it as a sort of outline around the shell, although I don't know, that might be a bit heavy. I'm not sure I might have to come back to that. But anyway, um, use a flat brush again in the other shell to get some interesting marks um, to show up the sort of ridges and spiral of the shape of the shell and um, a few more here and there a few little details going in just to make things a bit more interesting really so I'm kind of going back to some of the paler colours now yeah, I didn't really like that outline around the shell, so I'm going over it with just a pink dot to break it up. Same in the pine cone. A few more little details. I think we're just about finished. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Thank you.